Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 3.4, second question, chapter so playing with numbers of class 6. The question here is, find the common factor of, we have two questions, in the first one we have 4, 8 and 12. Now before we begin, we're going to find out the factors of each number and then later we're going to find out the common factor. Now when you write down the factors, you have to check the table from 1 to 10. Now why I said 1 to 10? Because this number is a smaller number, they're two digit number. If the number is greater than, uh, like it's a two digit, uh, it's a three digit number or greater than that, then you have to check till up to that number, you have to check all the numbers. For example, I have a 125, then you have to check from 1 up to 125 in which all table it goes. Okay, it's like a trial and error method you have to do in, in case it doesn't know all the factors. Now this number is smaller, we're going to check from 1 to 10, that's sufficient. Now the first one is 4, so we know that 1 into 4 is 4. So I don't all the numbers like in which all table it goes. So it goes in one table like every number goes in one table so 1 into 4 is 4. It goes in two table so 2 2 is a 4. Now it doesn't go in three table it goes in four table 4 1s are 4 but since I have written 1 4 is a 4 I don't have to write down that. Okay. Now factors of 4 will be so you have to go in this sequence 1 2 and then again 2 is coming so you don't have to write down two twos there you can just you have to write down only one single two so one two and four will be the factors of four i'm going to write down that later let me write down the factors of eight again so for eight and we know that one into eight is eight eight goes in two tables so two fours are eight it doesn't go in three table it goes in four table four twos are but since i have written two fours are i don't have to write down that now it doesn't go in any other table if you check from five six seven it goes directly in eight table eight ones are but since i've written one eights are they both are same next is 12 so one into 12 is 12 and it goes in two table two six are 12 it goes in three table three fours are 12 it doesn't go in five table uh, it goes in four table four threes are three fours are both are same so i'm writing only once it doesn't go it goes in six table but six twos and two six are both are same so i'm not repeating it and if you check any other table up to two, uh, up to ten it doesn't go in any other table so i'm going to stop here now we're going to write down the factors of each number so first factors of four so factors of four are so one write on this one two and four one two and four now factors of eight will be one two four and eight so factors of eight will be go in this sequence go from here to here that will be easy to write down so one two like you will be writing in ascending order and eight. So it will be easy for you to find out the common factors. If you write down in any sequence, it's difficult to find out the common. So you may miss some numbers if you write down, you know, like in a zigzag way. So factors of 12 will be, so write down in the sequence 1, 2, 3, and then go in 4, 6, and 12. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So from here, we're going to write down the common factor. So common factors, common factors are nothing but which are common, which are present in all the three. So one is present in all the three, two is present in all the three, and four is present in all the three, all the three factors. Uh, so one, two, and four are the common factors here. Common factor of four, eight, and twelve. So one, two, and four. Okay. Now. Mm, we have a next question 5, 15, and 25. Now this will be easy. So let me erase here. So we're going to find out for 5. So we know 1 into 5 is 5. That's it. And uh, we, it doesn't go in other number because it's a 5 is a prime number. It goes in one table and 5 itself. So 1, 5 is a 5 or 5, 1 is a 5. Both are same. Next is 15. So 1 into 15 is 15. And it goes in three table, so three fives are fifteen. It doesn't go in two table. See, remember one thing: odd numbers like five, fifteen, twenty-five. They doesn't go in even number table like two, four, six, eight, twelve like that. So it's waste of checking. You don't check those num tables because they don't go. Okay. Now fifteen goes in three table and it goes in five table, but five threes are three fives are both are same. So I'm not gonna write down. 
apart from that it doesn't go in any table if you check up to 10 it doesn't go so you're going to stop here then the next one is 25 so 1 into 25 is 25 and then we have uh, it doesn't go in 3 table it doesn't go in 2 and 4 also it goes in 5 table 5 5 is a 25 now it doesn't go in any other table if you check up to 10 so we're going to stop here now we're going to write down the factors factors of 5 15 and uh, 25 so factors of 5 will be 1 and 5 okay 1 and 5 that's it then factors of 15 will be 1 3 5 and 12 so 1 3 5 and so not 12 15 I said 12 before it's 15 the next factors of 25 is 1 here 2 times 5 is coming so I'm gonna take only 1 5 1 5 and 25 now we have to write on the common factor so 1 will always be common and 5 is common that's it so common factor or I'm going to write down CF here CF is a third common factor is 1 and 5 so this is how you can find out the common factor first find out the factors of each given number and then later I'm going to find out the common factor now I hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching